Alright, this video is going to be about React Fragments. Now before we can get into React and start using React Fragments, we have to understand what a fragment is. So I've got a very basic web page here. I have a UL and I want to add a bunch of list items. So in my JavaScript, I created an array in my, and I'm going to take each of the names in this array and I'm going to add them to this list. So I'm doing a for each loop. I'm grabbing each name in its index. I'm creating a list item. I'm taking the name and I'm setting it as the text for the list item I created and then I'm calling append child and I'm adding this list item. But if I do that, I also have to console log out this message. So we'll go to the browser and this one right here. Refresh, I run it, this is the result. So I get all my list items, but every time I added one, I also got this message. Just to illustrate the fact that if you are calling the append child method in a web page, you are touching the DOM. You are going into the DOM and you are making a change. You're forcing the browser to rebuild the page. Now, this is a pretty simple example. There's only seven list items, not a huge effect on anything. Even really low end devices would have no problem adding seven list items. But this is about as basic as it gets when it comes to updating the DOM. Oftentimes, you're adding content that's coming from some remote source. You've got a big JSON file, and you're adding lots of things, and you're adding CSS classes, and you're really making changes to the page. So I want to get this same result with list items without having to really impact the DOM repeatedly. That's the key here. I don't want to do it repeatedly. So we'll jump back into our code and see if we can do this without calling this method right here seven times. The key is we have something called a document fragment. So I do that. I create a document fragment. This is similar to a div. It's an empty container. The difference is that it's not actually an HTML element. It is a document fragment. It's like an empty container that you can use to carry things over to the page and then dump them all out at once. Think of it like a bucket and you're filling it with sand. The sand is all the elements that you want. When you're done packing it full of elements, you carry it over and in one dumping motion, you put it onto the page. So right here, df document fragment. Now I'm going to call the append child method here. Now I'm, I'm calling the append child method seven times still. The difference is I'm putting it inside this document fragment. This is not on the page. So when my loop is finished, when I'm done my for each loop, I've added my seven list items into my document fragment. Now I will call list append child and I will stick my document fragment inside there. Rerun it. Take a look inside here. Sure enough, there's my list items, but you don't see the document fragment. The document fragment was used just to bring things over. In the console, I don't have that message showing up. I'm not having to repeatedly talk to the DOM. So I've achieved the same result with one single touch of the DOM. Much more efficient. So this is the idea behind document fragments in React. All right, let's go back to our React app here, or go into the React app. I've got about as basic as it can get. I took the default one. I stripped out everything that was there. All that's left is my return statement. I have my div with the class name app, and inside of it, I'm going to be loading a component. The component is coming from this file, mycomponent.js. Inside there, I've just done a stateless functional component. So I've got a function that really is, if it were a class, all it would have is the render method. So I can do it as a function. That's what a stateless functional component is. I don't need state, so I'm good to go here. And I'm returning this bit of JSX. Now, this is an error that you will come across. All right, jump into my terminal here. I will start my React app up again. There we are. Here's the error that we get. You cannot return adjacent JSX elements. There has to be one element which is the root around it. So I'm sure if you've done any React at all, you've run into this error at least once.
So a, a normal solution to this would be, oh, okay, fine, I need to have something wrapped around here. I will just create a div and put it around. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, now I need to have React in scope when I'm using JSX. So I've got to bring in that. Okay, great. I've solved my problem. And if we're looking at the React tools, oh, wrong browser, but we can see here that I don't have the React Dev tools installed in this uh, this version of the browser. Um, here it is. Here's my div that was added in. So it works, but I have an extra div inside my HTML that I didn't need for any other purpose than to bring the content over and stick it into the page. So I'm just bloating the HTML on my page. Wouldn't it be nice to do a fragment for this? And that's what React fragments are. So we add React fragment around here. We end up with the same page. What did I misspell here? Oh yes, fragment. There we go. There we are. Now my page looks the exact same. There's no difference visually. But in my HTML, you can see here, there's nothing wrapped around this. It was a document fragment that was used to carry it over and place it inside of here. So React does this, and this is the typical syntax. If you want, you can import fragment like that. And then this becomes just fragment without the React in front of it. Still works, does the exact same thing. Alternatively, there's a new syntax that lets you write fragments like this, but depending on which version of React that you have, it may or may not work. Older versions of React won't let you do that, but you can do the fragment. So that's what I tend to do. I prefer to see the name there to know exactly what it is that I'm putting in. I feel a little uneasy just putting empty angle brackets in there. To me, it looks like a syntax error. So because of that, I like to just have the word fragment inside there. But that's it. That is document fragments in React as React fragments. Just a way that you can react, wrap elements when you have inside of a component multiple elements that are at the same level. You can wrap this around them without having to add that extra div that's just bloating your page. All right. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.